this video, you're going to learn how to evaluate expressions with a fraction bar in brackets using the correct order of operations. We are going to highlight, though, um, that fraction bar part. So, the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you have this problem written down. 16 divided by the quantity 2 plus 6, and then there's a big fraction bar and on the bottom is 3 minus 2. Now a fraction bar is a grouping symbol and it really just means that you are going to do all the operations on the top, the numerator, and do all of the operations on the bottom in the denominator. And the very last thing you do is divide the numerator by the denominator. A fraction bar is really just a division sign, but you have to perform all of the operations on the top first and then all the operations in the bottom. And then the last thing you do is you divide. And then for this one, the way we show our work, show our work is we're actually going to go side to side. So for the numerator, we have 16 divided by 2 plus 6. Within that expression, the first thing we would do is look at the parentheses. So put a box around 2 plus 6. Now 2 plus 6 is 8, so we can write 8 there. Then we're done with the 2 plus 6, so we're going to copy down what we have in the numerator. So over here in the top, we have 16 divided by 8. Then we're going to copy down that fraction bar, and in the bottom we still have 3 minus 2. So the next thing we're going to do is we're still going to look at the numerator. We still have 16 divided by 8. So all we have to do is figure out what that answer is. So 16 divided by 8 is 2. So put a 2 in the top, in the numerator. Then you have your fraction bar, and the last thing we can do is we can just figure out what 3 minus 2 is. 3 minus 2 is 1. Now this looks like a fraction, but it is also a division problem. So this is the same as saying 2 divided by 1. And the answer would be 2. So let's try another one. So this is our next problem. 17 plus the quantity 9 minus 4 all over 18 divided by 9. Now again, what we have to do is we have to perform all of the operations in the numerator on the top and then perform all of the operations in the denominator on the bottom and the last thing we do is we do the division, the numerator divided by the denominator. So in the numerator, again, we're going to follow the correct order of operations. So we start with parentheses. So we see parentheses right here, 9 minus 4. So 9 minus 4 is equal to 5, so do that on your paper. Now we're finished with the 9 minus 4, but we need to copy down the rest of that expression. In the numerator, we have 17 plus 5. Then we have the fraction bar. In the denominator, we still have 18 divided by 9. So now, we can just figure out what we have in the numerator and figure out what we have in the denominator. In the numerator, we have 17 plus 5. So 17 plus 5 is 22. We still have our fraction bar. And in the bottom, we have 18 divided by 9, which is 2. Now this is really a division problem, 22 divided by 2. And when you divide, you have to think 2 times what gives me 22? Well, 2 times 11 will give you 22. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. So this next one, we have the quantity 40 plus 8, and then divided by 8, all over 7 minus 4 equals. So again, we have to perform everything in the numerator, everything in the denominator, and the very last thing we do is divide. So in the numerator, we're going to follow the order of operations, and the first thing we see is the parentheses. 
So 40 plus 8 is 48. So now we're done with that part of the problem. So now we're going to copy down what we have in the numerator, 48 divided by 8, and in the denominator we still have 7 minus 4. So now we just have to figure out what do we have in the numerator and what do we have in the denominator. In the numerator we have 48 divided by 8. Well, 8 times what is 48? That is 6. In the denominator we have 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. That means you are going to take 6 divided by 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2.